everybody. Um, today is um, March 27th. The last video I did was March 23rd. So here we are in the middle of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I think last week or I, a few days ago when I did my first video, I was headed to the hospital for an NST. Um, today was my regular OB appointment. Um, so it was in a different building. It's not the hospital. Um, it's more like medical offices. And I took a video of going in because they're taking temps. So I got my temperature like scanned. Um, she actually thanked me for bringing my own mask. So I don't know if that like bugged people or not. I don't know. But she's like, thank you for bringing your own mask. And of course, it's my, it's the same black one that I've had. <laughs> and honestly, it smells like bananas like brown bananas because there's an old banana in the bottom of my purse. If you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. So anyways, <laughs> um, it was kind of okay. But then after a while, I was like, I can't breathe in these things. I feel so bad for all these doctors and people trying to function. You can hardly breathe in them. Um, but anyways, they were taking temps. Uh, they, I got the same little sticker, but they took it, or they had me take it off and put it on a board when I left, so I don't have mine um, for this time. Here's the exit of the building. That was urgent care over there. Um, last time I was here, the line was out the door. It was crazy, and now it's looking pretty empty. Um, and they had two separate lanes here. This is the exit lane, and you can see on the other side of that black um, rope thing is the entrance. That's me waiting for my appointment in my mask. And look, I'm terrified, and I'm also excited because <laughs> I get to see my little boy um, on the ultrasound and uh, chili pepper socks. Everyone needs a pair. I thought this was kind of interesting. Um, every time I go, they put me in this one specific room. It's the negative pressure room. And that right there um, is the vent that's sucking the air out. Um, my doctor showed me it um, in my last appointment. He threw like a little paper at it and it just goes, it gets stuck. And um, you could tell that it's sucking all the air out of the room. And it just makes a, it's a safer alternative to like a regular room. So I don't know, I thought that was kind of cool. So I guess I'll give you an update on um, my doctor's appointment. <laughs> so I'm 30, 38 weeks and two days or three days, something like that. But um, he's, we're gonna decide next week if I'm gonna get schedule an induction or not. He doesn't want me to go too long um, because due to my age, you the the baby the placenta could like peter out early and then you have um danger to the baby um so he's like you we have to kind of find that happy medium of like letting wanting it to go naturally but then not letting it go too long that something ends up happening so i get that um so <laughs> i don't know maybe i'm i guess i'm gonna try anything i can to get this baby out um, another thing that, um, has been kind of crazy lately is, um, I, when I got so big with, with baby, I started using Instacart, um, which is like a grocery delivery service. And I loved it. Um, I didn't have to carry the waters with the two kids. Like it wasn't, it was just so nice. Um, and then once all this stuff hit, I was still able to order, but then all of a sudden, bam, out of nowhere, they don't deliver. So then I was like, oh, that's great. We've been on lockdown for several weeks, almost at that point, that we were like safe. I'm like, I know none of us have the COVID because we haven't seen anybody or been out of the house. Um, but then we had to go out of the house to the grocery store. So 
Um, I know everyone's dealing with the same thing, but it's such a weird thing. I actually found that Instacart, you can, if you go on in the middle of the night or super early in the morning, because my kids wake up at like 5 a.m., if you check Instacart then, there's, you can get some, some time. So I got a scheduled delivery for Tuesday. So we're probably going to have to go to the grocery store before that, but I don't know. There's, there's that. Um, and we kind of got really lucky because my husband works at the hospital. Um, I think one of his hospital, he works at two hospitals and, um, he, one of his hospitals has 22 COVID cases. He's scary. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not making light of it. It's serious. I know. Um, <sighs> But it's also the hospital that I'm going to be delivering at. So it's terrifying. Um, but if I don't laugh at it, I seriously will start crying. So um, anyways, uh, he was able, he was going out to on maternity leave, or what's it called? Family leave on April 1st because my due date's um, April 8th. So we we did it so he would go out April 1st um but they're letting him go out early so because I've had the two kids at home and I I seriously you guys I can't even I can't even put my socks on and my look at it is oh my gosh I'm wearing the same shirt I wore last time <laughs> nothing fits me that's why <sighs> oh my god I'm going crazy so anyways he's been home um, he's able to be home until this baby's born. A huge, huge help because, um, it was the kids like spring break this week, uh, which like the week before was their spring break too, because I totally suck at homeschooling. Like it's so dumb. I, I'm awful. I'm not a teacher. Well, a teacher of math or stuff like that um so next week they actually the teachers have provided um like a curriculum so I don't know how that's gonna go um and my husband's I, I'm gonna have to have him do it so I don't know maybe he'll be totally better at it than me although I feel like there'll be lots of yelling and crying <laughs> I don't know. I know we're all in this together. Oh, you guys, this is nuts. What was I going to tell you guys? Oh, I know. I was going to, when I was talking about the grocery stores, um, so when we've gone, it's not been so bad. The only thing that's kind of short in supply is toilet paper and water. Water, okay, you guys, that's makes sense toilet paper what what are you worried about the coronavirus does not cause diarrhea that's not one of the symptoms um there's no shortage of toilet paper um, why are you buying it please stop i am so ready for people to start shopping normally there's nothing wrong with our food supply or our chain or to, uh, all of it we have it stop panic buying um i panic bought a jumpy house um and it was serious panic like it it was raining when all this hit it was raining and i had i had a seven-year-old and a four-year-old boys at home and i was flipping out I can hardly move or put my pants on and put socks on and or breathe. It was awful how heartburn. It was like so crazy and I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with these kids. I'm supposed to be doing schoolwork and I don't I can't. And I panic bought a jumpy house. It takes up our entire living room. I'll show you pictures. I'll show you pictures of it. It's um embarrassing, but seriously desperate times, desperate measures. Um I also, I'll show you pictures of my brother. He lives up in Santa Clarita and he 
when his, their grocery stores are like picked clean like ours aren't but his were like he sent me pictures i'll put them on here so you could see it's crazy the shelves were empty like empty empty i don't know it's so weird to me but anyways i i hope that curve we're talking about flattening the curve i hope the the grocery store curve is flattening and everyone is stocked up with all their toilet paper and everything they need. I saw that Costco is not taking returns <laughs> on all the toilet paper people bought. <laughs> I think that was so funny. Oh no, you can't return that. You have a year's supply worth of toilet paper. Oh well, it doesn't go bad. But anyways, we want toilet paper too. Fortunately, we haven't had a problem. We shop at Costco anyway, so we had plenty. Um, also, our school district is doing a really cool thing where you, like, any kids can just go pick up lunch. So they give us lunch and they give us um, a breakfast for the next day. And it's been so awesome because it's just seriously one less thing that I have to do <laughs> it's been so hard being like 75 months pregnant during all of this it's it, it's been really hard um but yeah we've been picking up lunch it's so cool it's just like a like a drive up and they 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 just hand you the bag of the food and it's so nice i have a picture of it too my kids drew like little thank you notes and um they handed it to them and it was really cute so i'll put that picture on here too um so and that's been a huge help and honestly it's like terrible food <laughs> that's so terrible for me to say but like stuff i normally don't give my kids like corn dogs cinnamon toast crunch <laughs> but you know what we are in a crisis and you know anything to make this fun for my kids like they get so excited like we're gonna go out and get lunch we're we gonna go get lunch and they were like little mini pizzas yesterday like i never give my kids stuff like this i mean i give them pizza don't get me wrong but i don't know they're just it's it's whatever but i make them eat like the little fruit i had a booger sorry I'll just keep looking down so you can't see it. <laughs> the booger is gone. <clears throat> so anyways, um, that's that. My next appointment is the NST on Monday. That's, I don't know what day it is. Do you know what day it is? I don't know. I think everyone's in the COVID time warp. So anyways, hang in there. Um, if anything interesting happens between now and then, I'll let you know. Um, okay, bye.